let's just say that today didn't quite go how I expected it to go. Good morning, Miss Hannah. Today is Monday, March 10th, the official start of our video blogging experience, even though we did, in fact, both post videos yesterday. Awkward. So we made this blog to talk to each other while we're at school, but we made poor decisions in when to start it because it's spring break, so I see you later today. We are doing our meet in the middle assignment for the art assignment done by John's wife, and we are going to go and attempt to find each other in the middle of some forest in our town and hopefully we won't get lost or murdered or eaten by animals. So I'll see you later. Bye. The time is currently four o'clock. Hannah and I are meeting at five and I just went to get our lunch. We are, you know, nice little hickey people. So we wanted Taco Bell. So I went in and got us some quesadillas and I tried a new thing that I guess we'll see how that turns out. Chili cheese fry loader thing. I don't know why tacos are made with chili cheese fries, but we'll see. I like tacos. I like chili cheese fries. So we're headed over to try and find this forest that I'm about to get lost in. Sounds like a great time. Bye Taco Bell. So we are trying to work our way out of this lovely intersection and go find this place. There's a giant truck. At least it's turning. I don't know what this truck is doing. It says it's turning, but it's still in the straight lane. How dare you? Austin's using logic about this giant truck. Bye truck! Is this how you vlog? Do you just kind of show things and you talk at it? I'm not really sure. There's a nationwide car. Nationwide is on your side. There's baby Christmas trees. I always think they're so cute. I think they're perfect for like college dorms. I don't know if you can buy them though. I've always wondered, but I've never like bothered to go in and be like, can I buy you a like baby tree? A whole tree? That tree's like smaller than the like sticky part at the bottom of every other tree. I don't know. It's not a branch. <laughs> the trunk. <laughs> the trunk. I don't know tree anatomy. Okay, so we finally found this park we were looking for so I wouldn't be like terribly lost. Finally found it. Here it is. It's over here. I'm not filming the sign. You can't find me. Hannah, Lauren, Liz. Are you supposed to be back here? Oh, I guess there's parking spots, so I guess you can be back here. There's a nice lake over here somewhere. There it is. It's really windy, but here's this very pretty lake. There's Austin leaving. And we're on a mission to find Miss Hannah. I might not be recording much of this walk in an attempt to get to our middle of nowhere location because I don't feel like getting lost today. I mean it's getting warmer after the very long winter but not that warm to where I want to be lost forever. So we're walking through this disgusting muddy area because everything has been melting recently and I have come across a river with no walkway across it so guess we're gonna try and go around it or find a way across. The GPS currently says that it will take 45, 49 minutes to get to our location. So I'm hoping that's wrong because it's about 4.30 right now. But I'm a quick walker. The main problem with this would be that I don't know where I'm going and I don't know how to cross rivers. And I don't like getting wet or gross. So this should be interesting. 
I'm stuck in the middle of the river. I don't know how to get out, but this is going to take a while. I found my way out of the river land. The only damage, a few scratches to my legs from climbing through trees, and my beautiful white toad converse now have mud all over them, but I can clean those off later at Hannah's house. Also, I realized that it says that it's taking me 54 minutes to get to this place because it's trained to take me along roads. So it wants me to go all the way around and to another entrance. I probably should have listened to it because it probably would have taken me closer to this place. But I think I'm smart and I'm not. So I'm now walking through fields and out of breath. Well, this just happened. My beautiful converse are completely ruined. Rest in peace. I'm, I keep getting poked with stabby things. My feet are cold and wet anyways. So, it's time to cross this river to get to my Hannah. I'm scared. It's going to be cold. <sighs> the things I do for art and for my Hannah. I hope I don't drop my phone. Oh, freezing. That was the coldest water I've ever walked through. Hannah, I hope you enjoy this video. How do I even get up on the other side? Ugh. Oh dear. Well, on the bright side, my shoes are a little cleaner. My feet are also a little wetter. I'm about to do it again. I got to a little thing in the middle. And now I have to go through, you can probably hear it, through that running water to get to her. The things I do. Okay, I love you, Hannah. I hope I don't die of hypothermia with my freezing wet feet. I hope you have dry socks for me at home. Okay, I finally made it across the river. I'm going back to GPS to find her. <sighs> As you can see, I am not to be trespassing, hunting, or fishing violators prosecuted under penalty of law. So, hope I don't get caught. I am pretty much at our midpoint, almost exactly on time. I've got many scratches up my legs. I made the mistake of wearing shorts, not pants. I also made the mistake of wearing nice shoes. Those are ruined. And I have no sight of Hannah, so I'm going to wait here for a little, see if she shows up. Maybe she had some trouble with the lake river thing as well. Okay. So, I'm currently walking through this giant field. Hannah got held up by some nosy lady. I got out of the forest. Went through a field, ended up on a train track, and now I'm going back into the forest. I'm walking whoop, along the track now because I felt it was easier than going back into the pokey stabby forest. So you probably can't hear me, but I was walking next to a train track. The train started coming at me, so I tried to get off the edge and like hide so the engineers wouldn't like hop out and murder me. I think I'm good to stand up now. Um, there's a possibility that I'm going to die. So to Austin and my family and all my friends, all like four of them, I love you if I don't make it out alive. Also, I don't know how long this train is gonna go, but it looks like it's gonna go approximately forever. So fantastic. Home is behind the world ahead And I'm going to die today Okay, this, this adventure isn't even as important as Bilbo's was Not Bilbo, Frodo But, whoop! I'm going to die, unlike him I am forever changed. 